Welcome from Froctech Tips. Today I've got a one PC which got some, I think, graphic cards problem, but we'll test it and try repair. First of all, plug in all cable, testing this PC, and hopefully we'll get a fix. Now we plug in this PC for first test and to see if it's really faulty what it's been told, okay? Okay, welcome from Froctech Tips. Today I've got a one PC for fix, which has been given to me back after one year I built this one. It's actually, yeah, the little story about this PC. Yeah, I built this PC about one year ago. We, I used the used part, there is a uh, iCore 5 750, I think. I'm not exactly sure, I think it's 750 iCore 5. Uh, which is quite old processor, but still good for like watching movie and going to internet because this is not a gaming PC, but I use the HD G6850 which I reflowed this car before and all good for over one year absolutely fine, no problem at all and like I said, I've been giving this PC back like there is some corruption on display now we're gonna testing to see if it's really true and if true i will try fix again but like i said for one year working it's really good okay three two one go now we're gonna test this to see if it works and oh yeah yeah you see here's the line on the screen that means there's definitely a problem with the graphic cards and I will now try fix. And there is looks like there is a black screen once the windows is loaded. It means I will now try fix this PC. As you can see, this PC is I think is very nice and clean after one year use and still still looks in really good condition. And I know this graphic card has been not absolutely perfect when I fix it. And I'm actually surprised it's live over one year, which is really, really good. Because there is a problem with BIOS as well. The original owner of this car, I think he overclocked and killed one of the BIOS. There is two BIOS on this car, which is this switch over here. And there's only the first BIOS working, the second one is absolutely dead. Okay, now we will take the cards off from the PC, which is just one screw here, and power cable, PC power cable is here. And standard take of the card. Okay, get the card out, and everything is looks fine. But I will try reflow this card again to be sure it's working. This means standard standard fix is take this four screw out and okay we got the old screw down and now and you take it off cards unplug the fan look at what I find it this is actually probably my fault and this reason main reason why this car actually after repair been fixed just only one year look at that look at that how is I never expect this. Look at that. It's, it's middle of part. It's clean here. Every thermal paste is around. Also the same on the die. You see that? It's just on a very small spot here and everything is around. That means this card is, doesn't have a proper cooling and I'm really surprised it's been working after reflow one year. Okay. Next time I'll try try use different stuff. Before you do any reflow, before doing reflow, do a clean all thermal paste. I used to just toilet paper and isopropyl alcohol to clean out, and also the same. Also the same on GPU die. First, like slowly, and just clean that properly. Okay. Once your 
card is absolutely nice and clean. I use the flux. I use the flux around. Now once all is ready, take my best friend's heat gun, use 290 Celsius and like always there is a couple of more videos, just check the cards which top up on the top, how to repair graphic cards, I will not show you this, I will just keep it this because there is plenty of video on my channel how to use the heat gun and reflow the card. Okay, and see you later once I finish this job. Okay, once you finish the reflow, don't forget, don't touch the car because it's actually so hot, it's really, really, really hot, it's been used 290 Celsius. Now just need the left car like this about 20 minutes. Car is cooled down, I put a new thermal paste, this time I use the thermal paste Grace YH880. I find this thermal paste is really, really good. Cool. Good is much better than I used before, which has been 510, it's the same company. And yeah, I will put a link on the description for some parts and tools I use. Just click and have a look. And if you buy over this link, you will help me run this channel. Okay, let's go put card together. Okay, now I try put card together, but before I put all together, I will be this time check the thermal paste. And you can see the difference between the one I used before and look at this one, you see? It stay on the middle, no squeeze down, it's much much better than the one I used before. Okay, just close, put the screw and test the card. We have our HD 7850 2 gigs version back on this lovely PC and we're gonna testing if I fix this card again. Hopefully, yes. And now job is done and we are gonna test this PC again if that reflow help or not. Switch on. And here we go. We got that. That. Looks like nice and clear picture again. I will skip this repair process. Okay, uh, Windows Diagnostic Tools finish repair this PC and hopefully now will be Windows start absolutely correctly. It looks like there is no starting repair tools again. And we can see this reflow help and put the correctly thermal paste this time, not like last time. Like this. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely, definitely it looks everything goes definitely everything looks okay windows start to the blue screen now hopefully now will be walk on screen and after that we're going in on windows yeah we have walk on screen is here and there you go definitely not a repair click like for this video my friends click subscribe and stay definitely tuned for more video like this probably um, because I still got a lot of lots of video from my old place which is still not editing and this one is new for you windows working again click like and don't forget to share as well rock tech tips is here for you to help you see you on my another video my friend